Depression together with anxiety is one of the most fundamental emotional states of conscious being. The fall from the paradise of innocence was the fall into knowledge which brings about the freedom of choice and uncertainty of understanding all together. Consciousness began with anxiety and depression and was assisted by them throughout its entire evolution. The present high rate of clinical depressed people is a sign of an unbalanced functioning and inappropriate understanding of these two fundamental axes of human psychic within modern culture. When it comes to depression and human suffering, there is one philosopher whose name always comes on top, Friedrich Nietzsche, as he himself showed symptoms of clinical depression and wrote extensively on human suffering. He discarded the classical English philosophy of happiness and contemplated a lot on suffering in general carefully examine the underlying cause and possible remedies. Therefore, it should not surprise us that a 19th century philosopher can provide us with the wisdom and tools for dealing with a problem as grave as depression. Suffering is inevitable. It is an essential component of the human condition and the sources of suffering are many. So given that we will suffer, the important question is, how will we suffer? Will we let our suffering destroy us and drive us into a pit of despair or will our suffering lift to the heights of a fulfilling life? To live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. Nietzsche wrote these words because he believed that suffering should be valued as it makes life more meaningful. Nietzsche saw pain and suffering as an opportunity to become stronger and more resolute. He felt that these trials make life worth living and gave it greater meaning because it leads to growth and development. In an effort to find an alternative mode of valuation, he proposes that human beings should adopt an attitude of acceptance and affirmation towards suffering, making it possible to positively value life despite its pain. What makes us heroic? confronting simultaneously our supreme suffering and our supreme hope. Suffering, however, does more than teach. It also increases our capacity to enjoy life, for suffering exists at one end of a dipole or set of opposites and on the other end lie happiness and joy. As with all pairs of opposites for one to exist, so must the other. For an individual to know joy, he or she must also know the pain of suffering. And the greater our capacity for one of these type of experiences, the greater our capacity for the other. Or as Nietzsche put it, How little you know of human happiness. You comfortable and benevolent people, for happiness and unhappiness are sisters and evil twins that either grow up together or as in your case, remain small together. Do subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to share your favorite quote from Nietzsche in the comment section.